गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज कन्वेंशनल इंक्रिप्शन ओके कन्वेंशनल इंक्रिप्शन बेसिकली इंक्रिप्शन टेक्निक इज कन्वर्टिंग अ प्लेन टेक्स्ट इन अ साइफर टेक्स्ट सो कन्वेंशनल मैथड्स आर दोज मैथड विच आर यू प्रीवियसली और वी कैन से दैट द ओल्डर मैथड एंड करंटली द मैथड वी आर यूजिंग फॉर इंक्रिप्शन टेक्निक और डिक्रिप्शन टेक्निक देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स विच वी कैन डिस्कस फर्दर बट बिफोर वी आर गोइंग वी विल सी वट आर द कन्वेंशनल कन्वेंशनल इंक्रिप्शन टेक्निक वी हैव हेयर सो एज यू कैन से दैट द डेफिनेशन यू कैन सी हेयर प्लेन टेक्स मैसेज इन टू साइफर मैसेज सो दैट दैट कैन be accessed by only the person whom the information is made for okay and what we will do to encrypt our message we will do like encryption and encryption is a process where we are converting our plain text in cipher text so with the help of a key and what is a key we can say it say that he is a type of algorithm or it is a type of process or it is a type of method which we are using for encrypting our encrypting our message so as you can see that in this figure we have plain text here and we are encrypting our message using the key so encryption is here and we have encrypted uh, message here which is being known as cipher text we have cipher text here and we will sending that cipher text in the network then after the cipher text is converted or decrypt using the same key it is converting that message in plain text and we are sending here the plain text and we are at last converting that message in a plain text by using encryption and decryption technique so after encrypting the message we will get cipher text here okay and this cipher text is traveled in the network and after it traced to the destination or the receiver it will again converted or decrypted by the key the by the same key and it is converted in a plain text so in conventional method or conventional encryption technique we are using same key for encryption and same key for decryption so it is also known as symmetric key encryption okay so as we know that in symmetric key a same key used for encryption and same key is used for decryption now we will see the types of uh, encryption technique or conventional encryption technique like in this image or in this figure you can see that see that we have cipher and type of ciphers we have type of cipher like substitution transposition stream translation stream translation block translation stenography okay so in this we have different different type of cipher so these technologies or we can say that this type of method or this type of algorithm they are further divided in different different part as we know that the substitution algorithm which we have here substitute it further divided in, in mono alpha alphabetic cipher and poly alphabetic cipher and then mono alphabetic cipher is further divided in additive multiplicative and fn Uh, there have different different techniques like in the the word as we are seeing here the substitution so substitution is technique in which we are uh, in which we are using the letter of the plain text and we are taking the letter of plain text and we are replacing that letter by a symbol or a number or a alphabet okay uh, in place of that so for example we have a 
a name like name we have name so if we have to write in uh, substitution method we have substitute that mm, alphabet like name with the other alphabet or number okay so we are changing that we are substituting that alphabet with some other alphabet or some other uh, number or symbol okay so uh, we are substituting that alphabet with the different alphabet or different number or symbol so in transposition in transposition the second one did which is the basically uh, conventional type of encryption technique like uh, basically substitution and transposition are um, two techniques which are uh, con conventional encryption technique okay so in transposition we have uh, performed some sort of uh, permutation okay and permutation on the plain text or we can say that we are rearranging the letter so we have like a name like we have cat so we are making permutation of that alphabet cat cat like we are writing cat we are writing uh, atc we are writing tac we are writing atc so what we are doing we are doing permutation uh, here so we can transpositioning like we are what transpositioning the alphabet and performing permutation on that uh, letter or on that alphabet or on that text message okay now we are coming in the stream translation okay so stream translation uh, in in this process we encrypt the data in digital format or we can say that it is size of one byte at a time it is a symmetric key encryption so it is also uh, like a symmetric key encryption technique we are using a single key for encryption or decryption of data but we are what we are doing we are taking a size like one byte of data at a time and we are uh, performing encryption on that okay so we are performing here like XOR function on that data first we are converting that data in digital form like 1010 type of forms which, which is uh, computer readable form and then what we are doing then we are taking the one byte of one byte of data at a time and we are performing encryption on that by using symmetric key encryption okay uh, now we will see block translation okay so block translation block translation technique in we are using same as we are using in stream translation we have but what we are doing here we are dividing our whole data or whole message in the size of block we are taking the stream here but in here we are taking the size of block so we are divided our whole data in a form of blocks with the equal length so it may be 64 to 128 block size okay and then what we are doing we are making a particular block like we have some message and we have made five block of that uh, data which we can also say that the five chunks of equal five chunks of that data and five block size we are uh, what we are doing we are doing encryption on that so for particular block we are uh, making our uh, taking our key and encrypting that data so like we have uh, like four like four bit uh, block size of four data like four to four four in the four four to eight four to twelve or for for the 16 so we have 16 totally 16 bit of data here now we have uh, divided into four parts 
and then each block having uh, each we are taking each block and making uh, that uh, block uh, decrypt uh, encrypt with the with our key and after uh, encryption we are getting the same size of block data like we have get four uh, bit of four data block okay uh, and at last stenography stenography is a technique of hiding message hiding uh, writing of hidden message inside like photos uh, image uh, text audio video so we have different different like we are hiding our text inside a uh, predefined data or predefined uh, image size or uh, like text audio video etc okay next we will see so basically in, in conventional uh, encryption model we have we can we have to understand what is the basic keywords and basic phenomena of that conventional encryption model so in conventional encryption model as we know that it is a symmetric encryption key as referred to conventional encryption or single key encryption so as we um, earlier uh, read about that it is having a single key for encryption or decryption both uh, sender and receiver use same key for encryption and decryption uh, which is also known as public key okay so there are five ingredients which we are using here uh, like we have plain text we have plain text so plain text is the message which we are writing a simple form of message uh, it may be ta um, text for text or it may be symbols it may be numbers any text format of plain text we are having here so we are using a encryption algorithm on that uh, encryption algorithm and encryption algorithms are implemented using a secret key okay so we have message m and we have we are using uh, encryption uh, on that so e of uh, m it means we are adding key for encryption okay so e is, is equals to we can say that e is, is equals to m and m and k m and k means message and key okay then after that we will getting cipher text when we are implementing encryption using the secret key on the plain text we will getting cipher text okay then at last we will using same key for decrypting and we will get again plain text as a result okay so these are the five um, uh, parts five different different uh, stages where we are taking our message and we are converting our message in encryption or decryption process okay now we will see our a figure based simple model of conventional conventional encryption okay so as you can see that we have plain text here it is x and we are taking uh, the key which is denoted by the key eh? the secret key shares sender and receiver so both having this key okay so now it is sending the message transcript message y which is used in encryption and key and x is a message plain message is x so uh, it is we are encrypted that using encryption algorithm okay here using with the help of key now we have y is equals to e of it means encryption k means key and x means the plain text here okay now what we are doing we have transmitted our message in a cipher form of cipher text all over the network then the secret key used by the receiver to decrypt that and decryption of that algorithm receive an encrypted uh, or encrypted message okay now the x we have the 
plain text here x is equals to decrypt d for decrypt of k of y so key and y is the cipher text here and what we are getting we are getting x so it is so it is a plain text here okay okay class i hope you understand in next class we will understand astronomy okay